close. I don't believe it. I call Jenny for the answer, but she doesn't know anything. James was so convincing when he sell me the land. I feel like a fool, you know. All my friends warned me that it's a scam. I was so blinded by the profit that he promised me. I invested thirty-two thousand dollars of my family saving. What shall we do now? What shall we do now? You oh. better call the police, sir. We've received several reports from investors against UK Prime Land Private Limited and from our investigations we've established that you are a staff at the company, is that correct? Yes. And on 28th October 2008, you made a police report to say that UK Prime Land's office was broken into. Can you explain what happened that day? We were having a company lunch, but none of the management showed up. So a couple of us decided to go back to the office. So we finally got the door open. The entire office looked like it had been ransacked. All the computer hard disks were gone. The drawer with all the files and the payment receipts in Karen's office was empty. There was nothing there. Even the UK land title deed that was on the wall had disappeared. Are you saying that all the managers are missing? Yes. So, do you actually know the name of the owner of UK Prime Land? How could I forget? It was on the title deed. Miss. Tran Thi Min Vin. She's Vietnamese. And do you have Miss Tran's contact number? No. As a matter of fact, none of the staff have ever met her before. So, in that case, do you have John Ng, Eric Yong, and Karen Tong's contact numbers then? Yes, I do. The handful numbers for John Ng, Eric Yong, and Karen Tong are no longer in use. I've checked the telcos. The SIM cards that were used were prepaid cards registered to foreigners that do not fit the description of the managers. It seems that they were purchased from the black market. I did a company screening with ECRA. Trandi Vin Min is the registered company director of UK Prime Land Private Limited. And his nominee director is Mr. Alvin Wong. OK, can you bring in Alvin Wong for questioning and put out an alert to all agencies for Tran? I just offered to act as their nominee director. I, I had nothing to do with the business. A man called Mr. Samuel helped a lady, Miss Tran, who is a Vietnamese, to register the company. Why is here? Yes, I was the property agent who leased the office unit to UK Prime Land. The letter of intent was signed by Miss Vivian Lim. I even have her IC number. Yi Hui, I've checked with ICA. The IC number Vivian Lim gave was fake. Then what about the other three managers? Do we have any leads on them? No. We have chased down a number of leads. It is clear that they have taken great pains to conceal their true identities. We believe that the names are all aliases. John Ng, Eric Yong and Karen Tong don't exist. And based on our checks with the UK authorities, we can now confirm that the land doesn't even exist either. Although Eric and Karen claim to be foreigners, this may not be true either. At this stage, we have nothing to identify them. You know, from the employees and Tranti's description, I think that Eric Yong and Samuel are actually the same person. And from Arthur's description, it actually fits the description of Vivian Lim and Karen Tong. So there must be some way of identifying their true identities. Ellen, Hakim, I need the both of you to check through the details of the case again and see if we missed out anything. I'm just going to pick up something. Jenny, Jenny, where are you? Why? What is it? I can't be too sure, but I think I saw Eric. Oh, he's turning 
gak sih? Is it him? Is it Eric? Yes, it is. Quick, call the police. Hello, Evie speaking. This is Jenny. I work for UK Prime Man. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Uh, how can I help you? I think we spotted uh, Eric Yong, the chief account director. We are following him in a car. Please be careful, Jenny. Please keep a safe distance between you and Eric. Okay. What's his car plate number? It's SGU1950H. This is car. But I'm afraid we don't know where he went. It's okay, I have his address. Is it Eric Young? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Sir? Yes? I'm Senior Investigation Officer Shen Yi Hui. Are you Mr. Eric Young? No. I think you got the wrong person. May I see your IC, please, sir? What's this about? Do you know anything about UK Prime Land Private Limited? Well, I read about it in the news. Something about an investment scam. I'm not involved in it. Sir, can I please see your IC? Mr. Chiu Tiao Leong? Yes? Mr. Chiu, we're placing you under arrest for a case of cheating. Are you sure you don't know anything about UK Prime Land Private Limited? Well, now that you mention it, I was working there for a short while. Only as an employee. I'm not even the owner. Then what about the other two managers, John Ng and Karen Tong? Like me, we're all just employees. And you don't know where they are now? No, I don't know where they are. Do you know Shui Fang and Pung Kim Fi? The name rings a bell, doesn't it, Mr. Tiu? <laughs> no, I, I'm really not sure who they are. We've checked through your contact list and we came across the name of I.O. Cheryl of the Commercial Affairs Department. And do you know what she had to tell us? Are you investigating a man named Tiu Tiao Yong? Yes, in connection with a timeshare scam, but we haven't been able to pin him down. Do you know if he works with any other people, like a male or female subject? We suspect that he's part of a syndicate with a man named Pung Kim Fi and a woman named Shi Fang. Are you sure you don't know where Pung and Shi are now? I don't know where they are. Both Shi and Pung are out of the country. Uh, checks with ICA confirmed that they left Singapore several days ago. Alert all checkpoints the moment they step into Singapore to inform us and detain them immediately. I miss you, Pung. Yes. My role was to supervise the staff. I'm just an employee. So you deny that you are Vivian Lim, the person who signed the rental agreement? We spoke to Arthur Lee, the property agent that leased the office to UK Prime Land. And he picked out your photo in a photo ID and positively identified you as Vivian Lim. That's her, Vivian Lim. You were also positively identified by the other employees of UK Prime Land as Karen Tong. Do you still deny that you are both Vivian Lim and Karen Tong? Good day, officer. Good day to you. Pung Kim Fi. That's right. Hi, please booth number six. What's the problem, officer? Send you refer inside the office. Uh. You're off your car engine. And you wear your car keys, huh? Tio Tiao Leong was charged with 74 counts of conspiracy to cheat. He was sentenced to seven years imprisonment. Pung Kim Fi was charged with 74 counts of conspiracy to cheat. He was sentenced to seven years imprisonment. Xu Fang was charged with 74 counts of conspiracy to cheat and 24 charges of conspiracy to conceal benefits from criminal conduct. She was sentenced to nine years and seven months imprisonment. In recent years, more and more citizens are turning to SIAS for help because they have lost money in investments. And when we look at these investments, they promise unrealistic returns, very high returns and very low risks. There is no investment that is without risks. So, investors 
They must not be greedy about the returns. They must ask why is it 100% guaranteed and why is the return so high when the banks can't do that. Investors must consider this type of investments as very risky and they must walk away. Visit our website for more information. The Monetary Authority of Singapore strongly encourages consumers to exercise care when assessing investment opportunities. We advise consumers to deal only with companies that are regulated by MAS. Under Money Sense, which is the National Financial Education Programme, we have resources for consumers to learn about investments and the risks of dealing with unregulated investment companies. For example, consumers can check the financial institution's directory to see if the company is regulated by MAS to provide financial services in Singapore. Consumers can also look up MAS Register of Representatives, which is a record of persons licensed to provide financial services. They would have met MAS's fit and proper criteria. MAS also receives feedback on unregulated companies which have been wrongly perceived by the public as being licensed or authorised by MAS to provide investment services. These companies are published on MAS's investor alert list. We encourage consumers to make use of these resources and equip themselves with knowledge on how to protect themselves when investing. Our goal is for all consumers to be investment scam smart. After the break, Mr. Jose Leong will join us and talk about what you ought to look out for during the year-end festive season. It's the holiday season and many of you will be out shopping. Let Jose Leong tell you more about how to shop wisely. I love shopping. Right. First thing to do is to check that you have lots of money with. No, no, no. Don't expose your cash in public. You will make yourself a target for pickpocket. Okay, let's go. Every girl wants to touch my body. <laughs> Obviously, she thinks you're one handsome dude. I think you better check if your wallet is still in your pocket, handsome dude. My wallet! I told him a hundred times gone. already. Don't get distracted by strangers bumping into him. These big stars, they never listen. What am I gonna do now? Yeah, don't waste valuable time reporting this. Are you kidding me? Report this immediately to the mall security. Maybe they can still find her. Better yet, make a police report. That's right, you know. What's the matter with you? Better report this immediately. Good thing I reported the theft. The mall security managed to find the pickpocket. Stop talking and let's look for a table. I'm hungry. Let's eat. What are you doing? Never leave your bag unattended while you go order or make payments. Get someone you know to look after it. Mm. Food really tastes great when you still have your belongings with you. <laughs> Follow my good advice, and you will have a fun time shopping this festive season. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm ASP Jonathan Aoyo, signing off.